All right, we just got a brand new headset in from Poly. This headset was just announced yesterday and we finally got our hands on it. So you're going to hear and see for yourself what this new headset is all about. This is the Poly Voyager 4320 and we are going to dive into all the details in this video. For those of you that are new here, my name is David. This is the channel Headset Advisor, where we review and compare all of the latest business headsets, speaker phones, and video devices. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos just like this one. All right, so let's get started by opening up this box and seeing what's inside. Here we go. So this is a wireless Bluetooth headset that connects to your computers, has a Bluetooth USB dongle, and this headset's designed to be a uh, entry level uh, business grade headset. You have USB cable, you have a cloth case, you have some instructions. Let's see if I can get this headset out of here. If I can figure it out here. All right, and here is the headset. Let me get this box out of the way. All right, here's my first impressions. This is very similar to some of the wired headsets, uh, the black wire headsets, the 3000 series and the 8225. So it has a very similar design. It feels really lightweight. The weight of this is actually 5.71 ounces. So you get ultra lightweight, but man, that's a real nice fit and finish. It's got it, this new microphone boom. It's very flexible and bendy. That's kind of cool. Bends pretty good. And then there's a mute button here right on the microphone boom so you can figure out where the mute button is very easily. Looks like you have some controls on the side. Let's go ahead and take off this protective cover. And of course you got your quick start guide that they want to attach to your product. And let's take off this. Oh, that was satisfying. Let's get that off. All right. So there it is in all its glory. This is the Poly Voyager 4320. We're gonna get this connected to the computer and test out all of the awesome features of this headset. It comes in a mono version and a duo version, which just means two speakers or one speaker. And this is actually replacing the Poly Voyager 4220, which I feel like just came out recently and they've already updated it. So I'm excited to test and see how the microphone and all of the other performance does on this headset. So what's included in the box here is the headset, you got your bag, you have a USB-C to USB-A cable, which is a highly requested feature. So if you look on the bottom of the headset, they actually have a USB-C port. I know uh, the Voyager Focus 2 just came out and it had a micro USB port on the bottom and that was you know, a big ask by customers is why doesn't it have or USB-C port instead of micro? So I think they were listening and made that modification on this headset, so that's cool. All right, so let's take a quick look at the technical specs here on the screen. This is a Bluetooth version 5.2 wireless headset. It is uh, 5.71 ounces, so less than half, half a pound, and it feels ultra lightweight, so you're gonna be comfortable for all day use. It has the noise canceling microphone with the acoustic fence technology, which we're gonna put to the test, the blender test here, so stay tuned for that here. It has a USB-A or USB-C connection, and it comes in three different versions. You have the UC model that you see in front of me here. You can add a charging base and you can even get an optional accessory called the Office, which will allow you to connect your Bluetooth headset to actually a desk phone, like a corded desk phone. So you can use this headset on computers, mobile phones, and desk phones. But the model that we're gonna review on this video is the UC version, so it's only gonna be computers and mobile phones. Has a two year warranty, an MSRP price of $209.95, and of course you can get this headset on our website. Link will be in the video description below as well as up on 
the screen there. So make sure you use coupon code YouTube, all one word, that's gonna get you the best discount on this headset. And then you have 24 hours of uh, battery life, or if you're listening to music, you have 47 hours of listening time. So that's really impressive, especially for an entry level Bluetooth wireless headset on the business space. Now they've really upped the wireless range on this model with the new BT700 Bluetooth dongle. It's gonna get you 164 feet of wireless range, which we're also gonna test later on in this video. So stay tuned for that. And what I like about this headset is that you can actually plug it in and use it as a wired headset. So you don't have to worry about your battery dying. Just plug in a USB-C cable and you can use it as a fully wired headset if your battery were to die. So that gives you a little less anxiety having to worry about your battery life. All right, so now let's get it hooked up so that you can see how it works. So to get this headset set up, all we do is take our Bluetooth USB dongle, plug it into our USB port on our computer. As you hear, it's booting up there. And then you gotta make sure to turn on the headset, which you push this switch up, and then you'll see this blue light on the headset, letting you know that it's powering up. Now, while we're waiting for it to pair up, you do have some buttons here, minus, uh, volume, increase volume, you have your answer and button here, and then you have your mute button, and then this is a bendable microphone boom that can be worn on either side of your face, which is always appreciated. And of course, it has the uh, adjustable headband on each side, so if you're on, uh, you know, have, have a large head or a small head, you can really adjust it down. And then also you have your ear cushions that are leather, which feel ultra soft and they fully rotate, which is another big benefit. So then you can put it in your bag, lay it down flat on your desk and it is set up. All right, and then there's the blue light on the BT700 USB dongle, letting you know that you're paired up to the headset here. And now while we're at it, might as well pair up our mobile phones. So open up the mobile phone go into your Bluetooth settings, go ahead and put the headset into pairing mode. So you take this switch and you just hold it on the side here until you see the blue and red showing up on the side and then go into your phone looking for the Poly Voyager 4320 series and then it will say connected. So now you are going to have the headset paired up to your computer via this USB dongle and also simultaneously paired up to your mobile phone. And later on in this video, we're gonna test how well it switches from computer to cell phone. All right, so what we're gonna do is test the microphone. My voice is coming through the camera microphone right now. So then we're gonna switch it over to the headset microphone right now. So this is what it sounds like when you're speaking through the Poly Voyager 4320. And this does have that adjustable noise canceling microphone with that uh, Poly acoustic fence technology, which is a fancy way of just saying it has a noise canceling microphone that we're of course gonna put through the test, have our blender here in just a second so we can see how much noise it cancels as well as walk outside to see how well it does when you're traveling on the go. So let's get to the next test. All right, so now what we're gonna do is play some office ambient noise. So you're gonna be able to hear typing, talking, that type of thing. Uh, the audio is going through the camera right now. Jeff, go ahead and play. <coughs> how loud it is. All right, now the audio is going through the headset right now. So this is what the headset looks like or sounds like when you have loud office ambient noises going on right next to you. And the audio is coming through the PolySync 40, which actually sounds really, really nice. It has a nice deep bass tone. So if you want to check out the video I did of that video, uh, the PolySync 40, check it out up here on your screen. But let us keep going to the next test, which we amp this up with a blender. All right, so now we're gonna step up this game with the blender, so let's go ahead and fire this up now. So this is with the blender going on right next to me. It's like two to three feet away. We're at 88 decibels, so it's a lot louder than you're speaking. So this is what the microphone sounds like. And this has that acoustic fence microphone, so it has two microphones on both sides here, one to eliminate this background noise and then the other to pick up and isolate your voice. 
So that is that. Now we're going to test outside so that you can see how loud and how good it sounds when there's wind and car type noises. All right, now we're outside here and my voice is being recorded through the headset and there's cars, there's traffic, there's a little bit of wind, but not much wind. So if you're a realtor, somebody that's on the go, you know, job sites, whatever you do that's outside, this is kind of how you can expect the microphone to perform in an environment that's outside. All right, so now this is the wired connection with the USB-C cable here. Now, what I like about this is that it is a fully wired connection. You plug it into your computer and it's not just charging the headset and then using the Bluetooth dongle to communicate to your computer. It's actually using the USB cable as the device. So it's a separate device now that is recognized on the computer. And you're probably noticing a little bit better quality on the sound just because they can get more performance out of a cable than they typically do over a wireless connection as you have concerns about battery life and all of that. So this is what it sounds like with a wired connection. All right, so that should give you a really good idea of how well this new microphone performs on this Poly Voyager 4320, as well as get an idea of how that poly acoustic fence technology utilizing those two microphones works. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What did you think of the microphone? How did it perform? Did it cancel out the background noise and especially that blender? Put your thoughts in the comment section below. We'd love to hear what you think about. And we look at all the comments and really appreciate you know, all the feedback that you provide. So if you have any questions, feel free to put it in the comment section below. You want a recommendation, anything like that, we will get back to you absolutely. Or you can always email us or call us live chat on our website. We'll put that up on the screen there. Now, I wanna show you real quick the difference between the older version, the 4220, against the new model. It's replacing the 4320. As you see, they're both very similar, but they obviously did uh, quite a few design changes with the 4320. Now, the microphone has been improved. The talk time has been improved. And then the overall design and aesthetic has been slimmed down quite a bit. The 4220 in comparison to the 4320 seems a bit bulky, but you still get the same size uh, ear cushions. Uh, you're gonna get still really good audio. So I just wanted to show you real quick the visual difference between these two models. Now I'm going to do an in-depth review of uh, comparison between these two models that shows you all the technical specs and also test the microphone see if there's any difference so make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel so you don't miss out on that video so now what we're going to do is we are going to do a wireless range test to see how far this headset will go before cutting out all right what we're going to do now is test the wireless range out on this headset to see how much further we can go than a typical bluetooth headset so follow me you get a behind the scenes look at the studio here. Come outside. All right, and we're about 10 feet away from the computer right now. So I hear music in the headset. Sounds perfectly clear. Now let's see if we can go a little further. All right, now this is about the 30 to 40 foot mark from right here. So I still hear the music loud and clear. And let's see if we can get a little further. Now, most Bluetooth headsets from other brands typically cut out right about here. So let's see how much further we can go. All right, now we're at about 70 feet here. So this is what it sounds like when we're this far, still hearing music perfectly clear. Now this headset has uh, the new BT700 USB dongle. So they advertise about 60 more feet than other Bluetooth wireless headsets. So that gives you about 50% more range. So we're gonna see if we can keep going a little further. 
All right, so now we're cutting out. Now my voice should be cutting out as well because the music is starting to cut out. So about 70, 75 feet is going to be the range, which is about 20 feet more than other Bluetooth devices. So if you're like me, sometimes at home, I'm right near the coffee pot. That's right where my end of range cuts off. So this is nice to be able to have that extra wireless range. All right, now I want to have you take a look at the Plantronics Hub software. This is the software that you can customize your headset to either work for your computer software, such as Ring Central, Microsoft Teams, that type of thing, or just adjust some advanced settings. So let's show you what there is available and on your screen. You should have the settings up on the screen. So you can do answering call alerts. You can have that on or off audio channel tone. So here a short turn combination, tone combination indicating that the audio channel is open and ready for communication. You can turn that on or off. You can have mute on or off alerts. You can have a mute reminder. So if your microphone is muted, it will auto, uh, automatically play more tones for you. Notification tones. Uh, your online indicator, so whether or not you want the light on the side of the headset when you're on a call, otherwise known as a busy light, can be on or off. Obviously off will save you more battery life. And then the second incoming call, you could have it ring in your headset multiple times or just once. And then you have the headset to PC radio link, so you can keep the, the link between the headset and the dongle um, always active or you can have it only active during a call. So if you have it always active then it's always trying to keep communication with the computer and not your mobile phone. All right now looking at you could change the language so ringtones you can have your ringtone on or off. This is a feature that a lot of people are looking for is this side tone feature and you can adjust it from low, medium, and high. And for those of you that are not familiar with side tone, side tone allows you to hear uh, your own voice through the microphone. So it just plays it very, very softly in your ears so that you know the microphone is picking up your voice properly, that the microphone is on and going. Then you have volume level tones. All right, and then let's go to, and then soft phones, this is where you would change it to your default device. Uh, do you want awareness for Microsoft? So if you have Microsoft applications, you can change it. And then you also have HD voice. So this is um, basically a wideband HD mode that you can turn the headset on or you can turn that feature off. I'd recommend on so that you get better audio quality on your calls and also on your music. I'm going into advanced, anti-startle, you can uh, prevent acoustic shock. It's never happened to me and I've tested thousands of headsets, but you can be have it on just to give you that extra peace of mind. And then uh, noise exposure. There's some countries that require certain amount of uh, decibels that your speakers output to, to protect your hearing. So you can adjust all that stuff here. And then of course you can update your headset and also the Bluetooth dongle through this same software. So just wanna show you that real quick. All right. All right, so I wanna talk quickly about when you have your cell phone and your computer paired through the Bluetooth dongle. Now, there's always a struggle when you have both these audio devices connected, which one, which audio source takes preference. So sometimes you're listening to, like let's say YouTube, for example, I have on my phone, then a phone call comes in on your computer, answer the phone call on your computer, then the audio diverts back onto your mobile phone. I did a, quite a few tests of that with this headset and it worked pretty well, but sometimes when it doesn't know uh, which platform to prioritize, it does, uh, or at least I struggle, to switch from computer to mobile phone easily without getting the audio uh, messed up. But this one, um, when I had YouTube playing on both devices, I would pause it on mobile and then it would pick up on uh, the computer. Same thing that I started over on the mobile phone. It, it would switch in about like two to three seconds. So a mild delay from when it was identifying 
you know, the computer versus the mobile phone. So pretty impressed with the performance of how it was switching between the two, but still uh, I was struggling a little bit uh, to get some audio devices uh, sources to work between the two. So just for uh, what that's worth. Also, I just wanna make a quick mention about the sound quality of the headset here. Um, I was very, very impressed with the audio quality, especially for a more budget priced wireless headset. The audio quality was absolutely fantastic. You have good bass, good sound. So considering it has 47 hours of listening time, you can literally use this headset for a long time listening to your music and just kind of rock it out. And it's a very good audio experience. It's not gonna be as good as, you know, the bigger headsets, the Voyager Focus 2 or in the Polyline 8200 that has the big, you know, ear cushions, headphone style headset. But for the price point, you get a lot of bang for the buck. It's very good audio. And then also that microphone is really nice. So just wanted to make a quick comment on that. And then also uh, when I put the headset on at first, it was giving my ears a slight bit of discomfort. But what I did was, I don't know if the manufacturer recommends this, but I do this with a lot of headsets. You take the headset and you bend it just slightly, not too much pressure. And what that does, it opens up the headset. So instead of it wanting to be forced together, it opens this up and reduces the amount of pressure. So just slightly, not too much, and then it's way more comfortable. So this I can wear all day long. So I just wanted to make a quick comment on the speakers there. So let's continue with the review. So if you're looking for an entry level wireless headset that's gonna connect to your computers and your mobile phones, you're gonna wanna look at this Poly Voyager 4300 series. Now, what I really like about this headset is it has that awesome noise canceling microphone with that acoustic fence technology and it performed very well. In addition to that, you also have speakers that sound really nice. You have this good bassy tone, music is very enjoyable to listen to, plus of course your conference calls are gonna sound great. And then you have that 24 hours of talk time which is enough talk time for almost anybody, especially if you're traveling and you're not charging your headset, you have lots of battery life. Plus 40, over 40 hours of listening time, so you can listen to your music for over 40 hours. Just absolutely uh, blown away with the, the performance that you get out of this, especially for being a lightweight headset. So it's gonna be comfortable for all day long. So if you're looking for something that's around the $200 range, that packs a lot of performance and is gonna work great for your Ring Central, Zoom, Teams applications, you'll wanna check this headset out. So make sure to visit the link in the video description below and use coupon code YouTube, all one word, or reach out to me and my team and we will help you out, provide a free recommendation and get you what you need. So I, I really appreciate you watching this video. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and also put a comment down there if you have a question or are curious about a certain feature or wanna know more about any other headsets or video conferencing devices. Now, I think you're gonna like this video right here. Go check it out, I think you'll like it. Other than that, really appreciate you coming by and watching this video. Have a great rest of your day.